oceans are huge and vast. Who knows what may be lost beneath their surfaces, hidden under their depths. Sometimes those mysteries bubble up for all of us to see. Sometimes they're things we might expect from the ocean, but other times, not so much. From two live deer to thousands of unopened kinder eggs, these are unexpected things that surfaced from the sea. Let's begin. Deer. Of all the things you might imagine finding drifting at sea, deer are probably not the first thing you'd think. Yet that's exactly what these guys found. It was supposed to just be a normal boating trip, but then something truly unexpected surfaced from the water's depths. We're not entirely sure how the deer got there. We don't know how they survived, but we're sure glad they did. After a few moments of confusion, the guys do the right thing and jump into the water to help the poor deer. And wouldn't you if you were in the same literal boat? Giant Pipes A number of gigantic Norwegian-made boar plastic pipes were discovered washed up on the English coast in July of 2017. The pipes, which were around 2 meters in diameter and 100 meters long, came free while under tow off the East Anglican coast and washed up by horsey and sea pauling in Norfolk. Authorities said there was no danger or potential for pollution from the pipes and that two specialist companies, Dutch Marine BV and Marine Towing Services, were working to remove them. All pipes were expected to be secured at a single location before being towed back to the manufacturer, PipeLife Norway. The pipes were under transport to Algeria when a container ship crashed into them and drove right through, PipeLife Norway CEO Chell Larsen told Reuters. He declined to name the vessel or its owners. He said that the accident happened on July 18th to 19th and that the pipes were part of a delivery totaling 3,200 meters long for a construction project in Algeria. Barrel Jellyfish So you might be thinking to yourself, what's so unexpected about a jellyfish surfacing from underwater? Well, what's unexpected in this particular instance is the sheer number of them. But before we get into that, what exactly is a barrel jellyfish? Oh, I'm supposed to tell you? Yeah, fair enough. Rhizostoma pulmo, commonly known as the barrel jellyfish, dustbin lid jellyfish, or the frilly mouth jellyfish, is a siphomedusae in the family Rhizotomidae. But the most notable thing about the barrel jellyfish is the size. These are not your grandmother's jellyfish. If one of these stings you, you're gonna need a lot of urine. On average, they can reach 40 centimeters in diameter, but can on occasion reach as much as 90 centimeters. Barrel jellyfish are no laughing matter. They are easily the biggest type of jellyfish found in the waters of the UK. 2014 saw dozens upon dozens of huge barrel jellyfish wash up on the beaches of Dorset, England. Tons of these giant beasts were ripped up from under the surface and crashed down onto the sand. So how exactly did so many of them come to be washed up from the depths of the ocean onto the beaches of Dorset all at once? It's believed that strong winds had brought the tide high and left those poor and strange creatures stranded on the beaches. Harley Davidson This is one serious bike, because this bike rode the waves of the oceans for a little over a year. It's a hell of a story. In April 2012, a beachcomber in Canada made a surprising discovery. Peter Mark was exploring the coast of isolated Graham Island in British Columbia when he stumbled upon a large storage container on the beach. Inside sat a broken, rusted 2004 Harley-Davidson night train motorcycle with Japanese license plates. So what exactly happened here? Well, it all begins with the Japanese tsunami of 2011. In the chaos and devastation, all sorts were ripped from its footings and washed out to sea, never to be seen again. But something was seen again. Among the many things taken out to sea was a very large storage container, and inside that container was the bike. For a year, the container bobbed in the ocean, traveling over 4,000 miles before washing up on Graham Island. When Peter Mark discovered the storage container, he could have never guessed that what was inside was a pricey Harley-Davidson motorcycle from another land. Mr. Mark decided to do the right thing and soon tracked down the owner, one Ikuyua Yokoyama. But Mr. Yokoyama wasn't willing to accept the gift. As you're no doubt aware, the 2011 Japanese tsunamis were one of the worst natural disasters in living memory. 15,000 people lost their lives, and those who survived lost most of their belongings and homes. Mr. Yokoyama felt too lucky to get his bike back. To his mind, he didn't deserve it. He chose instead to donate the bike to the Harley-Davidson Museum in Milwaukee. 
The curator, Kristen Jones, chose to permanently display the bike in a place of prominence as a memorial to the 15,000 people who lost their lives in the tsunami. World War II Fighter Plane this one's pretty unique because it surfaced several times over. Way back in 1942, a fighter plane crashed into the water just off the coast of Wales before it quickly surfaced on the beach. But it was soon buried under the sand and soon thought long forgotten. But back in 2010, the plane finally resurfaced as the tides whipped the sand away to reveal it hiding there. Described as one of the most important World War II finds in recent history, the location of the Lockheed P-38 Lightning has been kept a secret to keep the amazing find safe. Known as the Maid of Harlech, the United States Army Air Force, or USAAF, fighter crashed on the Gwynedd coast when it was taking part in training exercises and its engine cut out. A shift in a channel through the sands revealed the plane to a family of beach walkers on the 31st of July 2007, but the aircraft had been partially recovered by the shifting sands in October 2007. Seven years later, it was uncovered once more between February and November, when local aviation historian Matt Rimmer spent 120 days making regular trips to check on the plane. While the guns have been removed, it still has its fuel load on board. It can only be presumed to be the Lockheed P-38 F-4176-77 because the date plate cannot be examined, but it's the only such plane to have been lost in Wales. Kinder Eggs the residents of the German North Sea island of Langeoog had one heck of a surprise when a few thousand Kinder Eggs washed up on shore. The island's youngest residents must have been delighted. Though the chocolate may have been missing from all the eggs, the plastic shells containing the secret toys within were fully intact. Thousands of free toys for all day. It was almost like a very damp Christmas. Doritos. Kinder eggs aren't the only snack to surface from the sea and wash up onto beaches, but at least on this occasion, the actual food was included. In November of 2006, a rather tasty disaster struck the waters around North Carolina's Outer Banks. A shipment container stuffed full of nacho cheese, spicy nacho, and Cool Ranch Doritos tipped and fell overboard into the ocean. The bags of chips washed up on Hatteras Island, where locals then salvaged ate the surplus of shipwrecked snacks. There was even a report of someone filling up a truck with the payload. The National Park Service, which owns the island, arrived around noon of that Thursday and located the beached shipping container. When they looked inside, there were still multiple bags of chips. This incident will forever be remembered in the graveyard of the Atlantic Museum in Hatteras, where a bag of Cool Ranch Doritos is displayed among other, less delicious victims of the sea. Lego. In 1997, a goods container filled with millions of Lego pieces fell off a ship and into the sea. Since then, hundreds upon hundreds of Lego pieces have been slowly but surely washing up on the beaches of Cornwall in England. And with millions of bricks lost to sea, who knows how long it'll take for all of them to surface. Collecting Lego bricks from the beach has even become something of a hobby for some. There are those who dedicate their free time to collecting the bricks as and when the water chucks them up. We wonder if there's anyone out there who's completed an entire model out of bricks from the Cornwall beaches. Or maybe there's someone standing at the water's edge in the rain waiting for the one last piece they need to wash up. They could go buy it from the Lego store, of course, but where's the magic and commitment in that? There's a little fun, extra little twist to the tale. A quirk of fate meant that many of the LEGO items were nautical-themed, so locals and tourists alike started finding miniature cutlasses, flippers, spear guns, seagrass, and scuba gear, as well as dragons and the daisies. Oil Rig In the summer of 2016, a giant oil rig washed up on a beach on the Isle of Lewis in Scotland. Tja, that's right, an entire oil rig! The rig was being transported by sea from Norway to Malta when suddenly stormy weather hit and the rig became separated from the boat that was pulling it along. Weighing roughly 17,000 tons, it made one heck of an impact upon surfacing its shore. Rather disastrously, it had over 300 tons of diesel on board at the time of the incident. 300 tons of diesel almost went the way of a snitching mafia member and found itself swimming with the fishes. Space Rocket Yes. Really, a space rocket surfaced from the sea and washed up on the beach. This is one trip that went very, very wrong. To first wrap our heads around this one, we need to ask a question. What exactly is SpaceX? SpaceX is a private company founded by Elon Musk that designs, manufactures, and launches advanced rockets and spacecraft. 
It's currently flying resupply missions to the International Space Station, and it seems one of those missions went disastrously wrong. After exploding, debris rained down into the ocean where it would soon resurface. When a large piece of sheet metal washed up on a North Carolina beach, those who found it were obviously perplexed. But never in a million years would they have suspected it of having come from a space rocket. But that is exactly where it came from. SpaceX themselves confirmed it. A couple discovered the 10 foot by 6 foot piece of metal at a popular tourist site in the Cape Hatteras National Seashore, the Observer reports. Park officials said some sections were so heavy they needed to use a front end loader to remove it from the beach. Horry County Police and the Coast Guard were called to the scene after the debris was found and it was determined to be from the rocket a short time later. 